Hello. Welcome back. This is Susan at Anjora Yoga. Hope you, hopefully you've seen one of my videos. I'm very happy that you're here. Today we're going to do an energizing flow yoga practice just because we're inside and we need some time to activate our muscles and get some action going. So please join me. Let's start in Tadasana with our feet firmly planted. We have our legs nice and long and strong. Take the arms out and inhale, reaching up, palms facing or palms touching, either one is fine. And then exhale right back down. Let's go ahead and do that one more time. And release. And bringing the hands in front of the heart. And just for good measure, I like to do things about three times. Let's go ahead and do it one more time. And really feeling with our feet firmly planted on the earth and the legs and everything rising up from there through the crown of the head as we inhale, raise the arms up, palms together or hands together, and then go ahead and bring the hands in front of the heart. Beautiful. Releasing the arms, let's go ahead and do a side bend, bringing that right arm up and over, looking forward, a little more weight on the opposite leg of the arm in the air, breathing. Beautiful. Inhaling, coming back to Tadasana, our mountain pose, and go ahead and do the other side. So left arm up, right arm going slightly down. That right leg, breathing into that. And you, if it's good for your neck, you can even look up. You can bend the elbow a little bit, make it your own. Coming up on the inhale, Exhale, release, good. And then we're gonna turn in this direction, getting our still in Tadasana, and we're gonna go ahead and um, take our arms out to the side and up, bend our knees and come forward into chair pose. And on the exhale, go ahead and bring the palms to your heart in prayer. And so when we come out, we can go up, do a little balance. If you can go up on your toes, then release, coming down into chair, exhaling, hands in front of the heart, taking another breath here. And let's do that one more time. Inhaling up on the toes, exhaling, coming down, into our chair pose. Beautiful. Get those arms up so the ears are between the elbows. Hands in front of the heart. Arms out wide. Coming up one more time onto our toes and then release and come forward. Taking our legs out wide. We're going to do a very simple forward bend. So let's go ahead, take the arms out, the feet are going out a little bit, and then we're going to bend the knees just a little bit as we come down into our forward bend and release the neck and head, strengthen the legs, walk the hands back if possible, and just release shoulders, and head as much as possible. Good. And then we're going to walk over to the right and do a little knee bend here. Looking back at that extended leg. Coming center. Doing that same thing on the other side. Coming center. And once again, we're in our wide-legged forward bend and let's just heel toe our feet back together and we're going to bend our knees and we're going to come up facing this direction let's go ahead and take our right leg back and we're going to stand in 
warrior one, we're going to start with the straight legs. So the torso is facing forward. Back leg, the knee can be bent a little bit if you have something going on with your knee. Otherwise, really uh, engage and strengthen that leg. That's our anchor. And so on the exhale, we're going to go ahead, take our arms back as we bend the knee over the ankle. So take a look, check it out, see if that knee is between the big toe and the second toe. And then on the exhale, we're going to straighten that leg, bring the hands back together. Good. Inhale. Open as if we're opening our hearts to the world. We can use a lot of heartfelt openness in these times. And then bringing our hands back together. Excellent. Opening. Bringing the hands back together. One more time, opening, and let's go ahead and bring the hands back together. And we're going to go ahead and do the same thing on the other side. So switch to the other side, <clears throat> right foot forward, left foot back, torso is facing, pretty much facing that wall in front. Start with the straight legs, as we exhale and bend our knee. We're bringing our arms back and we're opening the heart. Beautiful. And then coming forward with our hands together. Exhaling. Following your breath. This is actually inhale coming up on the exhale. One more inhaling. Coming up on the exhale. Come forward and we're going to take our legs out a little bit wider and we're going to start with the right leg out and the left leg back and we're aiming toward like a warrior two position. So let's start with warrior two, inhaling those arms up exhaling that knee right over the ankle check that arm in the back i could feel that this arm was kind of moving forward let's have that be even and the arms are even towards the floor and also the knee i can bend the knee a little bit more over my ankle so warrior two and then from here on my next inhale and exhale i'm going to bend this elbow going down onto this knee and bringing the opposite arm up and over the ear and we are in side angle. Beautiful. Side angle right here. Coming up, straightening, bringing the legs together, doing our little switch the other direction. Getting the arms nice and straight. Same thing on this side. Exhale into warrior two. We have that knee right over the ankle. Beautiful. And then we're going to go ahead and raise this arm up. Exhale onto the thigh. Take the opposite arm up and over by the ear and opening those collarbones. I don't think I mentioned on the other side. But notice my palm is facing down. And if I look back, I'm really looking right at the armpit. Let's keep that back leg as our anchor, nice and strong. Beautiful. Excellent. So let's inhale up and we're going to release the arms down and we're going to go ahead and bend, have our feet out. They already are sort of naturally pointing out. And we're going to go and take our hands onto our waist and we're going to inhale forward 90 degrees, so we're looking at the floor. We're going into a wide angle forward bend. We're going to release the hands down. And this is where, I didn't mention props, but this would be a good place for a block. So let me just give you an example of that. 
We can have our block right here. And when we come down, we can come down to 90 degrees, take that block right on the edge of the mat, and find the width that feels good for you. And have that tailbone go back, and the crown of my head you can see coming forward. And we have a nice long back. Then to come down gently a little bit more, release to the mid height. You notice we're getting a little lower. Start bending the elbows if that feels good for the lower back. Lower the block. And then release all the way down. You're either on the block or you don't need the block anymore. So here we are. I'll look up at you a little bit. So here we are in our wide angle forward bend. So from here, we're going to walk our hands right over to the right, turn that foot out a little bit, and that other one out, and we're going to bend the right knee. Hopefully you can see. I need to go back a little bit. Right over, and I'm going to go further than the ankle here. And then we look back at the length of the stretched leg. Good. From here, come into that uh, forward bend. This might be where you want to use. I'm going to use the block so I can kind of look up and see you. And then my, my other foot is out. We're going to bend the knee right over the toes and then look back at that stretched out right leg. Excellent. And coming back center, we're going to go over to the right one more time. Same thing here. So, but that left hand's going to stay down, and we're going to come into a twist, bringing that opposite arm up and over on this side. Beautiful. Releasing. We'll go over to the other side, get the block out of the way, use it. Actually, you can use it here if you need to. And this time the right hand. And then left arm goes up into our twist on this side. Beautiful. Bringing that arm down, we're going to go ahead and come into a lunge. And we're actually going to bring that back leg that to meet the left. And here we are in a down dog. So let's find your best down dog. Let's do bending one knee, straightening the other. So back and forth a little bit. Mm -hmm. So these are little shorter videos so that they're about 10 to 15 minutes long. To add a little bit more strength, we can come forward and do a plank. And then come on back into our down dog. And go ahead and release the knees and come into cat cow with a nice flat back. And then just cooling down a little bit, we're just going to do a little looking forward, rounding. Inhaling, exhaling, and if you feel playful when you go forward, we can say moo for cow, and coming into cat, meow, and one more time into our down dog, woof, woof. Go ahead and allow the knees down, and we'll add a balance pose. Taking the right foot back, stretching it, taking the left arm forward, right arm is our anchor, then inhale that back leg up, holding, and we're basically looking down at the mat, but the head is coming straight up from the neck, straight up from the back, 
good. Release that down. Bring the right knee in. Take the left leg out. Get ready. Weight on the left side. Inhaling the arms up. Exhaling that leg up. Into our balance pose. We usually do about five breaths here, but I invite you to do as many as you can. Five to ten is great. And then bring that knee back. Take the knees a little bit wider. Move the hands a little bit more toward the top of the mat. And then come on back, hips toward heels. You may not get all the way, but that's okay. And if you can touch your head with extended arms, go ahead and do that. And you can also use a block. Exactly. Like this. So cool down, cooling down with our child's pose. Good. Then coming up, find it a nice cross legged position, putting our feet together, hands on ankles, or if you're especially limber, maybe holding the toes or the sides of the feet and opening up into Baddha Konasana or Cobbler's Pose. Releasing shoulders down, straightening the arms, taking a nice breath, feeling that energy. Notice the body. Where are you feeling the sensations inside? Knowing that our muscles and bones work together in a most harmonious way. And if we initiate the move, everything follows. Everything works. Everything is saying, yay, we're moving and grooving and feeling invigorated. And that's how I hope you feel at this moment. Alive, invigorated, a little bit um, calmer perhaps because of the movement and just allowing the yoga to be more meditative so the thoughts are not coming and going so quickly. So putting our hands together, I'm so grateful you came today. I invite you to go ahead and do a Shavasana of 10 minutes, five or 10 minutes, lying flat on the mat or using some props that you might have at home. And I do promise to do uh, at least a 15, 20 minute restorative yoga video that I'll be sending to you soon. So I hope you feel invigorated, yet calm, coming up, feeling a little bit more kind to yourself and others. And please join with me in saying Namaste. The divine in me sees the divine in you. Thank you so much. For being with me today. See you next time.